being taken by Deputy Ruth Coppinger. Deputy Coppinger to introduce. Uh, thanks, Kim Carla. Uh, Minister, I wanted to ask you about the recent revelations that a tiny fraction of money that's allocated for traveller specific accommodation is being drawn down by councils. And obviously this has a huge impact on all traveller families, but particularly on children. And I'd like to ask you, Minister, what are you going to do about this? which has been a problem for a series of years, not just under your watch, but now that we apparently have more money than we used to, and it's not actually being accessed, I think that's particularly outrageous. Minister. Uh, as Minister for Children and Youth Affairs, I, I take an interest in all matters concerning the well-being of children, and I am particularly conscious of the plight of vulnerable groups, including traveller children, who we are committed to supporting. Uh, the Department of Housing, Planning, Community and Local Government uh, has informed me that housing authorities are responsible uh, for the assessment of the accommodation needs of travelers and the preparation, adoption and implementation of multi-annual traveler accommodation programs in their areas. I am very conscious uh, that to date just 1.729 million of the 5.5 million euros allocated for traveler accommodation for 2016 has been drawn down. However, it is usual that the bulk of capital-related expenditure for travel specific, traveler specific ac ac accommodation occurs in the last quarter of the year, having regard to lead-in times uh, for planning, design, and construction of capital projects. To ensure a maximum expenditure and delivery of accommodation, local authorities submit quality profiles of expenditures to the Department of Housing, Planning, Community and Local Government. And in this regard, I am ensured that expenditure during 2016 is being closely monitored by the Department. Furthermore, contact is ongoing with every relevant local authority in order to ensure that drawdown is maximized. And I will work with my colleague, Minister Kovnik, to ensure that this capital funding is utilized to the full. In relation to the the current funding for accommodation-related supports. This operates in tandem with the capital program. Current funding of 4.3 million is being provided in 2016, and over 3.2 million has been recouped from to local authorities in 2016 to date, of which 0.943 million was self-funded by local authorities from the surplus local property tax receipts. And a similar level of current funding will be provided in 2017. I'm pleased to note the capital funding of 9 million is being provided for traveler-specific accommodation in 2017. That's an increase of 3.5 million, 64 percent, on the 2016 um, uh, allocation. It's the second consecutive year the traveler accommodation capital budget has been increased, and included in this provision is to assist local you, authorities with the costs of capital works arising from the fire safety review of traveler-specific accommodation. I hope you're not suggesting that there's going to be a sudden rush in the last quarter to get traveler-specific accommodation plans because you're obviously then oblivious to the fact that this has been going on for years. It was going on through the boom when councils had a lot more money than they have now. And in fact, travellers staged a demonstration several years ago outside Fingal County Council from the Blanchardstown Traveller uh, groups. Um, <coughs> Minister, i just give you a few startling facts. 29% of, of funds that local authorities have have been drawn down. So there's no point in talking about increasing them if they're not even using what they're getting. 5,584 travellers are in unsafe and overcrowded accommodation. Five children died last year in one incident in, uh, I was in Fox Rock, which normally when people die in Fox Rock, we hear a hell of a lot more about it. Dublin City Council has drawn down only 17% of its allocation, and they've no plans for 2017 to build any. There's no plans on their books, and I've checked this with Dublin City councillors. But uh, Galway... The highest number of travellers seeking accommodation, apparently, and they've only uh, used three and a quarter percent. But listen, hats off to Clare, hats off to Kildare, who have spent zero of their allocation. This is a, a, a problem you, that they have no interest in acting on this, Minister, and this is a really systemic problem. Thank you, Deputy Minister. Deputy Coppinger, I share your concerns in relation to these issues, uh, and I have shared those uh, concerns uh, for a number of years. I just want to say a, a couple of things in relation to um, what you've said there. Um, I, I'm, I'm uh, uh, glad that you've put it on, on public record. Um, uh, I think that that will be uh, even encourage, um, I hope, uh, our, our minister, uh, who is responsible specifically for what we're speaking about now, uh, to, uh, to be motivated to ensure that there, there, there is that or find ways to ensure that there is that drawdown. 
down. Second thing I'd like to say is that within the action plan for housing and homelessness, it does provide for the commissioning by the housing agency of an expert independent review of traveler accommodation expenditure and the delivery of units having regard to the targets contained in the local authority traveler accommodation program. That review has commenced and it's due to be completed in quarter two of 2017. The review will provide factual information and it will be a key platform for the special working group to progress its work effectively, which was committed to in relation to the program for government. And that working group will be established as soon as possible after completion uh, of the review. Um, I suppose the other thing that I, you, you do raise in your question has to do with the, 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 the conditions for traveling children, particularly in relation to the issues that we're speaking about in terms of accommodation. And my department, I suppose that's where I would oversee more uh, responsibility and things are going on. Thank you, Minister. Deputy Coppinger. Yeah, sorry, I should have said that's off as well to Dunleary Rat Down County Council, who haven't withdrawn any of their funds either, despite the fact that a tragedy took place in their area. Um, apparently, the Valley Ogan works underway and will be recouped retrospectively. But I just wanted to complete what I'm saying. Traveller infant mortality is 12 children per thousand. That's a shocking figure in the so-called develop developed world, four times the settled population. And the causes of infant mortality, as I'm sure you know, are due to sanitation, access to medical care, access to clean drinking water. Uh, many of the bays that are cited by travellers uh, don't have electricity, and you know this is simply uh, unacceptable. In the housing committee, we tried to get an agreement uh, that councils will be overrided if necessary, because there's clearly a problem with councillors from uh, a couple of the big parties in particular, but also across other parties and independents, allowing traveller specific accommodation. Um, and can I ask you, Minister, something that you could do? Because I know this may take time and it's not specifically yours, it's the housing ministers. Could you end the cuts that took place to travellers and traveller children Thank in education you, over the course of the bailout, particularly the visiting teachers? Thank you very much. Minister, to conclude. Uh, your, your question there, uh, uh, Deputy Coppinger, and I ra raise that uh, with, with my colleague, uh, M Minister Bruton. Uh, I will say, uh, though, in terms of some of your, your initial comments there and that final, final um, contribution, is that uh, my department um, uh, does allocate funding, uh, 220,000 euros in total in 2016, to a number of projects and organizations working specifically to support young travelers. The overall objective of the funding to the youth sector is to support the personal and social development of young people outside of, but complementary to, the formal education system. Uh, it places particular emphasis on the youth work needs of young people between the ages of 10 and 21 who experience social or economic disadvantage. I also, uh, in taking up my ministry, took the chair of the consortium uh, of the Better Outcomes, Brighter Future, which is the national strategy uh, to, uh, for, for children and young people. And there are a number uh, of identified objectives, particularly in relation to traveler and Roma children. Uh, that, that we are uh, t uh, that the, the objectives that have been identified that we are tackling in that context, and I am overseeing and chairing uh, that, 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 that consortium in order to uh, ensure that, to the extent that I can, and that within my own ministry, that we move towards uh, um, tackling the inequalities in the health, education, and, and other forms of outcome Thank for you very much, children. Minister. Question number two.